J.R. Hayes, Convict's Thoughts. This sucks. I gotta get here, spend time with you this morning, which I always love to do. This is why I do YouTube. It's to be able to share all this time with you discussing true crime. But today, that's not what I get to start my day off with. Unfortunately, here we go into this whole dilemma of, I know you don't want to hear it because it's drama. But guess what? My name is getting drugged through the dirt in the back scenes. Emails going out that I'm trying to take over channels of fully exposed male body parts on a live. And that had to have had something to do with me because I'm trying to take down someone's channel. I'm not going to speak directly by name to who I know is doing this. Because I'm not going to play that game. But I am directing this video out to all creators who are receiving emails from this individual. Bashing me. Stating that because of my past history as a convict. That I must have just got better and better at the con game. That I can bring that here to YouTube. And do what with it? I believe most of you know that I've been very transparent. I've laid out my past. As a criminal. As a person. In regards to the fact I was a liar, a manipulator, a cheat. I did many things throughout my lifetime that I am definitely not proud of. Heck, even back then I wasn't proud of them. It was a very depressing time of my life. But I went and I did my time and I moved forward and I've shared many of my experiences each and every day that I do videos with you. But now there is somebody I'm not going to say by name, who's struggling within their own life at this moment. You could tell they're paranoid. You could tell that they're self-destructing. And I personally don't like to see it happening, but there's nothing I can do about it. And now this creator has taken to the back streets to try to bring others down as well. The sad thing is, if you had just reached out, even reached out to me personally, rather than privately attacking me, I would have extended a hand of help to him. I would have been there in support. I've never disrespected anybody's channel. I've never disrespected any content creator. I've never disrespected a single person within the community. We all are different. We all have different views, thoughts, emotions, and even feelings when it comes to not only the cases, but how we view life as it is. I don't judge anybody. I'm not any better than anybody else. I take great pride in my channel, and I am humbled by the fact people are willing to come engage and give me the support that they do. I remember my channel when it was small, just a handful of subscribers, and I debated on whether I would ever even make it. I know the struggle. I know the hard work. I know what it takes to get over the depressive mode every morning when you wake up and you don't have the amount of views you feel as though you should have. Or the subscribers are varying up and down and you just are unsure if you're going to survive or not. I was lucky. Not only did I have the great support system of a wife that continued to help me step by step overcome the mental 
hardships I was having. But I had a community that was growing and showing their support as well. It's what YouTube is about. It's about support. Even if we disagree or we don't like something that someone else is doing, we don't need to knock it. We just avoid it or don't pay attention to it. That's the best way to support something like that. I think everybody that watches YouTube as a subscriber or just a viewer has the capability within their mind to pick and choose who they feel comfortable following and watching and giving their support to. But I'm frankly upset and hurt by an individual that I've known even prior to YouTube days that knows me better than what he's portraying in his little quest. A quest that who knows where the end destination really is. I don't think it actually has anything legitimately due to me. But he's using me in a step to get to the next stop on his quest. And I don't know why. I've never disrespected your channel. And you know exactly who I'm talking to because you're going to see this video. And for the many that have received the emails from this individual, I think you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about as well. I do not disrespect anybody. I do not go to any channel and disrespect anybody. I do not disrespect our viewers, and I do not engage in drama with other content creators ever. So please understand, this video is not, this is not drama. This is laying it out there flat for everybody to, to see and nip this in the butt before it gets any bigger. I'm not stealing subs from anybody, especially a channel. That's one-third my size. I'm not trying to take over other individuals' channels for any reason. I'm focused on my own. I'm doing what I feel is right to build my content, my channel, and engage my community. And I'm sorry if people want to throw judgment out there before they actually know facts or even reasons why something's happening. I hope the person that I'm speaking directly to and those that he's emailing get the gist of what I'm saying. You didn't reach out to me personally. You didn't bring your problem or your dispute to me personally. We would have discussed it like normal human beings do and gotten past it. I don't come to your channel. I don't visit your chat. I used to. I used to enjoy coming to your chat and to your channel. And I won't do it anymore. But that doesn't mean I don't support you as a person and hope that you get through whatever you're going through. There's many who could offer a helping hand to you. And normally I would. Normally I would. But with the slander that you put out there on me, even to the point that you're saying that there's a possible chance that I would be one that would expose myself on somebody else's live to get their channel taken down? That's disgusting. Disgusting to even have you state that anywhere in regards to my name. 
I feel like I deserve an apology from you, but I know because of your nature, I will never get it. I know your personality. You're going to spin this. You're going to shed a few tears. You're going to get people to console you that you're being picked on. And you're not. You're just being called out for the things that you are incorrectly putting out there about somebody. And only you can fix it. Only you. can become a bigger person and fix it. I'm not becoming a better con artist. I'm becoming a better person. And I challenge you today not to steer into drama. Find the power to find a positive moment today. Take a deep breath and see if you could do the same as me. Move forward in a positive way. But keep my mouth out of the whole drama-filled garbage going on. There's no need to bring my name into it. I'm not a part of it. I'm A.R. Hayes. This is Convict's Thoughts. We're going to move forward one step at a time, whether people like it or not. Have a great day.